Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know, and welcome to... that I'm even here right now because I, when I tell you I walked onto my flight probably like three minutes before they closed the doors this morning and that is not like me. I've never missed a flight in my life. I left so early, I reserved an Uber the night before, had plenty of time. My Uber driver wanted to stay in the slowest lane possible. It took an hour and 20 minutes to get to the airport this morning. I live 25 minutes away. So we're gonna be that. I don't know how that happened, but we made it. So nothing else matters, we are here. Mom was waiting to come say hi, I think, but then she walked away, but Shelly is also here, which I love a competition weekend when she's here because everything is just so much smoother. I know. Everybody's like, why do you still go? She's coaching. She's not even sure. And I'm like, do you understand? You get to do more now, honestly. I like, think so. You get to come more behind the scenes and like hang with us and plus it's our you see me again. When I was an athlete, I feel like we were never together. Correct. Now that I don't have anything to stress plus about. Plus I got to see Greg and Trey and all the girls. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, she it was driving distance, so she could drive here. It wasn't yeah. that bad. No. But it is Thursday. Majors, obviously if you watched my last video, I like kind of talked about it, but Majors is a very, very different competition. It is a one-day competition. Also, I don't know why I'm like pink in this lighting right now. The lighting when me looking into the mirror looks fabulous. For some reason, the camera's not picking that up. I look like an alien. I look pink. But Majors is a very different competition. It is the most prestigious competition that exists. It is invite only. It is also the only major competition I've never won as an athlete. I did only go once. I only competed once as an athlete on TGLC 2017. I think we got second. It's the only major competition I haven't won, but we can change that around now as a coach. So tonight is like the welcome night. We have a little banquet for the girls. They get all dressed up and we get like mid-level dressed up. Tomorrow we get really dressed up. So I still have like a cute outfit tonight, but it's nothing crazy compared to my tomorrow outfit is definitely way better. But they try to make it all special. Well, they do a good job making it all special for the girls. They have a banquet tonight. We'll get like, they'll do like a welcome speech. They'll show a little fun videos and stuff. And then the girls end up just like eating with each other. They have food and then the coaches also have food downstairs. So we get to do a little coaches social, which should be fun, but I have to leave in about an hour or so. I'm going to start getting ready. I'm not gonna take you through the whole process because we got a long weekend ahead of us. If I do that, this video is going to be so long, but I'm gonna try to speed through this as fast as possible so that I'm not stressed. I am breaking out a little bit, which is kind of annoying, but I plan to do like nice, good makeup anyway. So why am I purple? <laughs> maybe in the meantime, yeah, maybe in the meantime, while I'm doing my makeup, I can figure out the lighting. So when I come back and show you the final product, I don't look like this, but before we go and before we get into this weekend, I want to take a little break to thank today's sponsor, which is Skims, which is still absolutely unreal to me. So I brought my Skims. I, I did too. I brought my Skims to sleep and I brought all my Skims underwear because it's the absolute best. It's the most comfortable thing ever. So for a competition weekend, my Skims always come with me. My Skims collection is growing and I could not be happier. I was such... I, I don't want to say hater. I was not a hater at all, but I was like, there's no way. I like, I just didn't want to believe the hype. I'm like, there's no way that this is that life changing. Like, come on. You guys can't be like that obsessed with it. And then I placed my first order and you, you have to believe me because I placed my own order for the first time with my own money after like not believing the hype for so long. My first reaction was, yeah, I should have done this a long time ago. Like genuinely, the material that they use for their clothes, I've never felt anything like it. Like no one else is using that material. So the first thing that I became obsessed with because my collection is growing and growing and I've now tried out so many different things. So I wanna kind of tell you some of my favorites, but starting with the boyfriend, I believe these are the cotton boxers obsessed i have them in gray i have them in black they are constantly in my sleeping rotation they're pretty much in my laundry every single time i do it because i'm wearing them that much but the most comfortable material i wear these to sleep all the time and then the matching boyfriend t-shirts just in kind of like more of an oversized the comfiest comfiest shirt ever i'm obsessed i have this in a couple colors too i did just place another order again with my own money 
for more of these. So I am so excited. I, like I said, I wear them nonstop. They come with me on every vacation, every trip, everything. That is always the sleep that I'm bringing. I also just tried out their hoodies. And again, I also just purchased another one on my own. Justin's mom got me one for Christmas and so comfy. So I had to get another one. That is coming in the mail currently as we speak. It'll get delivered in a few days, but I just, I can't get enough. And the other collection that I'm obsessed with is the Fits Everybody collection. So I have the bralette from the Fits Everybody collection. Wear this all the time. This t-shirt is from the Fits Everybody collection. But I'm obsessed with it so much that for Christmas, even though like I work with skims, I buy skims all the time with my own money, my boyfriend got me a bodysuit and another shirt from the Fits Everybody collection for Christmas because I love it that much. And the underwear from the Fits Everybody collection you don't even want to get me started on that because hands down the most comfortable things, they literally like form to your body. At this point, I've gotten just about everyone in my life hooked on skims. I've got Justin some stuff for Christmas that he loves. My mom is super into skims. My sister, like everyone loves it. And my newest finds that I'm really loving are the bras because I'm really not that big of a bra girl. As we can see, I don't need that much support, but when it comes to certain tops and as I'm getting dressed up more, whether it's for competitions or just like going out, I don't have bras that fit well hardly at all with like the fancy cut tops. So my newest favorite that I just got is the plunge bra in obviously just the black. They have a bunch of shades, obviously if you want like more of a nude or I just went with like a solid black color. But because it's a plunge bra, it has more of a like deeper cut so I can wear it with some of the low cut tops that I normally wouldn't be able to wear a bra with. But I'm gonna put this on for you guys. And here the bra is on. Obviously, just have a little bit more support. But like I said, I, I'm not one that necessarily like needs a bra most times for like the support or anything. So my biggest takeaway is obviously comfort because if I don't need it, I'm not gonna wear it if it's not comfortable. Skims bras are not only made with innovative technology to give you the best shape and support, but they're also designed with the comfiest and softest materials so you'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Skims offers a complete system of bra solutions to meet every need and style and they're available in 62 sizes from 30A to 46H. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear and bras for every body, and you can believe the hype because Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. But truly, I talk about Skims all the time. I've placed so many orders with my own money, so that's why it's so crazy to me that Skims is even like sponsoring this video because I probably talk about them enough for free. So I feel like you guys already know how much I absolutely love them. But I'm gonna have everything linked down below so you guys can try either the Fits Everybody bras or any of their other collections on their website. Valentine's Day is also right around the corner and they just launched their Valentine shop and they have some of the cutest clothes with like little heart prints and like so much pink and red. So girly. Definitely check that out. Get yourself a little Valentine's Day present for yourself or send the link to someone to get it for you. But make sure to check them out. Like I said, everything is linked down below. And then after you place your order, there's going to be a little like survey question that's going to say, how did you hear about skims? If you could choose the option of like YouTuber, influencer and type my name, that would help me out a lot. So I would really, really appreciate it. But I just know that no matter what you guys order, you're going to love it just as much as I do. So make sure to check them out and let's go back to the video. And we are back. Here's the final fit. I don't have the jacket on yet because I just love the way this outfit looks without the jacket, but it's like 10 degrees outside. So even though I don't technically have to leave because like everything in Indianapolis is connected, which is really nice, I still think I'll freeze in this. Maybe if anything, I mean, my mom's coming over. I can, if it's really not bad, I can give her the jacket so I can just wear this, but it's like, I, the jacket's not bad. I just prefer it without, but what do we think? Do I look like a brat at all? The answer is no. I definitely, I'm, I'm a Barbie doll over a Bratz doll any day, but we're pretending for the year that we're more of a Bratz vibe, doll. but I definitely feel like I just, I look like a Barbie. I, I don't have the like baggy, big lips kind of Well, I think look. your leather jacket might. Okay. I mean, I feel like this outfit too. is literally like a Bratz doll outfit. You guys can't see it. I mean, I'll try to show you in a full mirror in a minute, but proud of my makeup. Hair's just curled for tonight. Here's the full fit with the leather jacket. It like, the jacket just doesn't let the shirt have its moment. I don't know how else I could wear it. Like, I don't know, but we'll bring it. Worst comes to worst, it's fine. It like, I can hold it back like that at least. But okay. if it's not that cold, maybe I'll take it off and we'll see. But it definitely goes with the pants. It goes with the whole outfit, the vibe. It looks a little more bad girl. Baddie right? now. Not too much like biker chick. No, I think you Okay, good. <laughs> hey guys, we're taking some flicks. We are making some videos. Everyone looks good. So good, so good. No, I had to put fake press on, bud. You cannot even tell. You look great. You 
can't tell. I have no. Look at everyone. back. I ended up getting like no footage. I should have honestly had the girls vlog. I didn't think about it, but when we were in there, we just watched a little video and then the coaches went to our own little room for a little social and then we had a team meeting and dismissed. So you didn't miss anything crazy, honestly. The most fun part about the banquet is just seeing everyone dressed up. So you at least got to see little clips of that, but it is kind of early. It's only 10 p.m. right now. I'm about to unwind, get ready for bed. The way tomorrow works, so everything happens tomorrow. We got a busy schedule. So we have to wake up in the morning, we have a practice round, and then we got like a break in the day, and then it's the competition at night. So I'll see you guys pretty bright and early. Like we have to meet at 9.50 tomorrow, so not too bad. Good morning. It is Friday, it is the day. We are up, the groovy is popping this morning. The girls are up and ready, they got energy. So I'm very excited. For today, so we start with the practice round, which honestly this year is pretty useless. In years past, the practice round is actually when you would get your difficulty score. So obviously it could change if skills weren't performed the same at night, but like you kind of have a baseline of where you're scoring compared to the other teams on difficulty. So normally you go through the whole warm up process and then you go to the actual competition stage and you have about like 10 minutes. You can do it in any variation that you want. So you don't have to go full out. So last year we would do like a stunt run and then we would do a tumble run and then any other sections that we needed to do one more time we would do. So that way every section was performed. They can get a score for every single stunt section, every tumbling pass that's thrown. But if I'm being honest, that didn't really matter because they still messed up our score last year. So. But because this year is on a world score sheet, which is a completely different score sheet. It's all comparative. It's not number based. There's no like, if you do this, you get this score at all. It's kind of just like whatever team does the most of certain skills or the more difficult skills or throws more passes, like everything's comparative, which normally I will say LJ routines score really well on world score sheet. We kind of set our routines up for worlds in mind already where a lot of teams do for like varsity events first and then like go from there. But I will say we've never competed on a world score sheet this early in the season. So it will be kind of a baseline to see where we would score when it comes to worlds. But I feel like also by the time like now to worlds, our routine will probably upgrade and change so much that it won't be like an exact representation. But because it's the world score sheet, there's no, I mean, they technically could rank you difficulty wise still because they're seeing all the other teams as well. So they could technically compare you. And before we even came to the competition, we had to submit like a script sheet of all the skills that we're throwing. So they know our difficulty, but. So are they even gonna be in there watching is my question. Um, Did you say that last from night? what I've heard, I think the only feedback we're getting today is like legalities if we see it, which we'll probably get our pyramid legality because that's gonna happen at every competition because it looks level seven, but we have it approved by USASF that it's level six the way we do it, but we've already had to fight that. Not fight that, but just you just have to prove that like you have it submitted back as like legal. So we'll probably, I'm sure we'll probably have to do that. That should be the only part of the routine that should even be questioned, but. So you have to go full out on the floor? No. That's what I don't understand. No, so it's literally just a practice round. Like it's just for you to fill out the floor for, it's just kind of to get your bodies up and running this morning. Well, how are they gonna see your pyramid? When we warm it up in warm ups. Like that's at Worlds, there's legality judges in the warm up room. We are just kind of rolling with the punches as we go. Majors has never done the world score sheet, so this is very new. We were kind of talking to some of the people last night of majors and just kind of asking like, what was the reasoning why? Like we just want to know why the world score sheet like we're not against it like i said we do enjoy that score sheet we've just never competed on it this early but they were like honestly if any event would do it majors would be the best event to do it because it's such a small amount of teams so it's definitely easy to compare one to the other you're not sitting through 50 teams having to remember every routine and then compare those like ranking them in order so definitely makes sense it's a lot easier to rank five teams correctly than it would be a million at like a different other competition so I am excited for today. We're gonna obviously go through warm-ups like normal and then, yeah, I don't think we're going full out on the big floor. We'll probably just do like maybe a building run 
maybe then like maybe I think what we decide is we're gonna do two routines because we have five minutes total because something different that they're also doing this year is we're practicing our walkout so they're gonna do like they're gonna play all the girls like I am blah 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 you know how that works they're gonna play that video they're gonna do the coach's introduction so we have to practice walking across the stage today then the girls practice walking out and then our like five minutes starts so we'll probably do two routines and just make like one a building and then one like whatever kind of tumbling you want to do to feel out the floor kind of thing is my thought that might not be what we didn't like reach a final decision yet we kind of just wanted to see how we're feeling coming into this morning but i feel good we we're about to head down meet the girls and i'm excited hey y'all welcome to part one of majors we're about to go to practice hey!
Good job, Andre. That's the best dance in cheerleading. That was incredible. Practice was phenomenal. They looked so good. They looked so calm, so confident. So I'm very excited. I feel like we made great decisions about like what to do on the final floor because they just felt very like at ease and confident with everything. They got to feel the floor out for tumbling. And I am very excited for them tonight. Like truly so excited. I feel like this is the best they've ever looked. Just like confidence wise, energy wise, they are like on a next level. So we have quite some time, luckily, before I have to start getting ready. It's only one 26 right now and we don't meet till 6 30 so obviously i'm gonna start getting ready earlier but i think i might take a nap my eyes honestly the lights in the warm-up room were like fluorescent bright and i think like now my eyes are just sleepy so i just got food i'm gonna eat um, mainly because i awards at majors always take forever we're probably literally gonna be there till almost like 11 p.m and then everything in indy shuts down early so i'm gonna eat a huge meal right now Take a nap, that way I can prepare for the long night ahead of us and then I don't have to worry about being starving later at least. I'll bring like snacks and stuff to carry me through but we should be good to go. I am so excited for them tonight. We took a nap, we are rested and I'm about to get ready. I'm literally giving myself two hours as if I was an actual athlete getting competition ready but I just like don't wanna be rushed. I still need to figure out how I'm doing my hair because obviously if you guys saw the last video, the back of the dress is like the moment so i can't have it covered so i need to do some sort of an updo and i just don't i feel like if i do an updo lately all i've been doing is like slick backs because that's what's in but i don't want that i want like serena vanderwoodson-esque like messy curly ponytail kind of vibe so i just have a feeling that that's going to take a little longer so i don't want to stress myself out with time so we are just going to get ready early i gotta be kind of like full glam although as i was taking a nap i don't know if i was awake or in my dream thinking about this but I don't have lashes. And I feel like I probably should have thought of that. I feel like that probably would have helped. I don't know if I wore any last year, but we don't have them. So we're gonna make do without them. I'll just do lots of mascara, I guess, and curl my lashes a million times. So they hopefully like curl up and stand out and look good. So here's the before. And I think this is the finished makeup. We'll probably touch it up after like last minute touches because it's still pretty early. I'm gonna go through, I think, just curl my hair first as if I was wearing it down. Then we'll go back through and try to figure out how to put it in the updo. I think this is what I'm most stressed about just because I never wear it up. But the curls aren't bad. They just definitely need touched up. And then I, the last thing I'm doing is getting dressed. We're gonna make sure everything else is good. Luckily everything, like my, Dress just goes this way and everything else like tight shorts obviously comes up the bottom so I don't have to worry about anything going over my hair so we can perfect the hair with lots of time and no stress and then get dressed but I'm pretty proud of this makeup. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? We went back and forth. I did every earring combination possible. This is what we decided on. We got the little danglies and then just the basic hoops. We tried to do the LJ and the danglies. It was just way too much but can we have a moment for the dress? More specifically, the back of the dress. Isn't it so cute? It's from Pretty Little Thing. I love it now that it's on and like I'm ready. I love it. I was really nervous. I don't know why I was stressing about the outfit. I love it. I feel like the hair looks good. It's like giving messy ponytail. This needs recurled or blended in or something. Not sure what's going on there, but. Here's, I can't even show you guys the full outfit. There's only like half a full body mirror out there. Well, I don't have my shoes on there, but they're my tights. I'll get, I'll get pictures and stuff. You all have to see, or maybe I'll have my mom film when I put my shoes on and everything, but I am not doing that yet. Here's the full fit. It's growing on me. I actually, I love it, honestly. So, pretty little thing. Tights are just Amazon, and I think they complete the look because obviously the back is all rhinestone-y. What do you think, mom? You like it's it? spreading. You're so grown up. I know. The blazer, I feel like, is giving you, like, professional, like, mature. And it, so it's, like, business in the front, party in the back. in the back. So you might have to carry around my backpack all day so that everyone can see the back. Because I can't cover it. We are wearing our old uniforms. We just got new uniforms in this week. But we just, like, didn't have enough time to practice in them. Some of the sizes, I feel like we just need to adjust a little bit. And we were like, you know what? 
We don't even want to stress about that. We'll debut them at our next competition. So we are wearing the George like old uniform, but it goes with the brass sure. vibe, so it still works. So I'm excited for that. If you're wondering, there's a little tea about the uniform. It is coming. It has arrived. You will see it at the next competition. I pinky promise, but let's go. I love competitions when I dress up. I wish we did this more. This is so fun. Oh gosh, so stressful. It is honestly, but it's fun. <laughs> Okay, so hey guys, we're the best friends, and um, and we're about to go. Oh, you yeah, like it. the new hair? See, I did have to work down this time. Let's get those angles of it. All right, welcome to Gabby Fuller's vlog. What's your name? Gabby Fuller. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, what do you do for fun? Not much. Are you sure? Yeah, honestly. Um, how's the outfit today? Um, don't look at my shoes. In fact, I'm Oh, oh, she doesn't have feet. Those are the shoes. But these, oh, those would have been so good with. I know, I know. But it's okay, maybe I'll wear them again. Hey guys, it's Adriana and Kaylee, your favorite LJ twins. We're back. Happy only day of majors. Only day of majors. Hi guys, so me, Self, and Special Dad today. Ariana Martinez, Ramsey Dennison, Addison Clemens, Kaylee Chan, Sophia Vasquez, Kaylee Flynn, Brianna Hicks, Alex Bankston, Marley Moncrief, Mariah Marshall, Milana Page, Megan Briner, Lauren Hernandez, Ella Mattingly, Carly Hills, Julia Walker, Ellie Ray, Amir Marshall, Riley Grail, Jenny Bradshaw, Peyton Brown, Ziana Penintio, Ava Broder, Sierra Tolliver, Gianna Suarez, Olivia Haas, Ariella Smith, Avery Snyder, Hope Keenis. Sophia Botero, Destiny Holland, Angelina Filicomo, Jessica Stepanen, Tavi Cummings, your three-time world champions, the Brats from Miami, we are Top Gun Lady Jags.
video I did not end it one because it was so late by the time we finally left the competition because um coaches didn't even get scores like you guys on Twitter found out scores before coaches did which is kind of crazy and I don't honestly think that was the right way to do it at all I'm a little upset by that I feel like that should not be known to Twitter before coaches even have a moment to take it in digest it and relay it to the team but I guess that's the day and age that we're in now Obviously the competition did not go how we wanted or how we thought it was going to go at all, but it happens and what I can say is we actually use this as like a really big positive because obviously I'm home filming this now a few days later and the girls are in the gym hungry and ready to work. So honestly, as much as I would have loved for that to be such like a, a cherry on top weekend, I do think that we are using the positives of it a lot. We're getting back in the gym, we're really just grinding and when you see us next, I have a really good feeling. Like, it's really going to go good. They are such a talented team, such a hardworking team. And I really think the nerves just got the best of them. It's just, like, a really big deal competition. It's, like, great cheerleading back to back to back. Like, the crowds are obviously filled with people just, like, solely watching you. And we had a lot of first-timers at majors. So, I don't know if it was the nerves. I don't know what it was. But it happens. And... Obviously, we don't love when it happens, and I, I don't want to harp on the negatives because as an athlete, I've been there. Mistakes happen. You don't go out on the floor trying to make mistakes happen. I'm still always and forever so proud of them. And for everyone on Twitter that said, oh, Gabby's going to come in her vlog and talk about scores, I could. There's a lot to say, but you know what? I'm not even necessarily, like, I'm more mad at other divisions that I do not agree with. Like, teams that difficulty scores, like, you can look at a routine and look at skills and I just feel like judging was very opinionated. When it really shouldn't have been, when like you go skill for skill, you, it shouldn't be up for debate, honestly. So, um, don't agree with a lot of things, but can't do anything about it. So, still thankful for the opportunity to go. The girls had a great time. I had a great time. Thank you to everyone for all the love on the outfit. And just, it was a great weekend, honestly. I met so many of you. I will say, you know, what's not great they didn't play LJ's intro video, which is why I put it in my video. And let's hope I don't get somehow copyrighted from it. I better not because no one got to see it the day of. I guess I understand completely. Technical difficulties happen. I get it. But there was a lot of downtime the rest of the competition that they could have been like, it was the only team, the only team it messed up for. And that's such a big deal. Like the girls, I'm pretty sure there was a vlog, like the LJ mic'd up practice, I think vlog, that the girls were literally practicing like how they were gonna say their name. And that was like weeks in advance. Like it's a big deal for you to be like in the majors video, the whole like I am and you say your name, it's important. And then the girls didn't get their moment. Again, I understand technical difficulties happen, but there was a lot of time that the competition could have made it up later in the night and just like apologize for it and maybe played the video so they could see it. That was a little upsetting, honestly. At least they did. They did post it. They sent it to us, so we have the video. So that's why I wanted to include it here for you guys to see because it did not play at the competition. But still very thankful, obviously, for the opportunity. It was a great weekend, and we always love going. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out Skims again. Everything is linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.